How you doing? You know me as the cod carrying ex capo from the New York mob. Let the record show, I'm also a hopeless romantic. I met my wife the same way as a lot of people at work. See, Bobby Peltz was behind on his protection money, so we went over there to discuss payment options. I never let emotions get in the way of my job. Until that night. She was the classiest fraud I ever laid eyes on. The face of an angel and a killer, but... I mean that figurally and literally. From that moment, I was head over here. I quartered her through the arraignment, trial, and sentence. And on visiting day, she agreed to be my wife. Yes! Yes! Now that we're in chilly vagina, we still know how to keep it hot. Wait a sec. How'd you sneak the engagement ring into prison? He stuck it up his wazoo. Oh! What? It was romantic. And kind of hot. The ring, I mean, on account of it having been crammed so far up his... Ah, yeah. <coughs> eh, Cook, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Aw, remember our wedding day? You look so handsome, strangling the DJ. Happiest day of my life. What about when we had the kids? That's the day happiness died. Thank God we sent him to... Where'd we send him? Summer camp. You know, to get in touch with nature and crap. I'd like to get in touch with your nature, if you know what I mean. <gasps> what the hell is this? You keep an album of your stinking gumars with the family photos? Cookie, I can explain! Actually, I got no idea how this got here. Oh, you guys found my memory journal. <laughs> yeah. Those were the days, huh, Jimmy? You remember them two broads? Twins, Jimmy. Double your fun. And their Suki blows good. And I still don't think that was a real name. Jimmy, I know floozies on the side were part of the old life. But I don't need them shoved in my face. And here's Patty Pontoons. Boy, did she ever have big feet. Good night, Jimmy. Uh-oh. You made her quiet angry. The kind where you think she forgot. And then, bam, your nuts are in a vice. Baby, wait. These memories ain't even mine. I don't know what you did, Jimmy. But, uh, think next time, okay? <laughs> Confused. Where's the spa at this crummy freaking resort? There is no spa at summer camp, Counselor McDougal. Counselor? But I've never even been to law school. I object. Okay, to review our whistle signals. <whistles> Means rabid cougar. <whistles> Means escaped maniac with a chainsaw. Oh. Now, who's ready for a hike through Cougar Canyon to the abandoned mental hospital? We're all gonna die. Could you kids take off your boots so my ride's not so bumpy? All right, time for some real fun. You hungry? How about a shish kebab? <laughs> you missed! No, I didn't. The raccoon's kids were in there. <laughs> nice shot. Name's Carmine. Gina, what's a wise guy like you doing out here in the weeds? Two months for pissing off a juvie judge back home. I guess you can't escape from the wilderness. You're telling me. This place blows. So let's mug someone. Screw that. Let's mug everyone. <laughs> Good. After screwing up my weekend, you should move out. No, oh, I booked you and Cookie a romantic getaway. Spared no expense. Got you lots of points on your credit card, for which you are welcome. That's not gonna work. She's so mad, she's selling a wedding dress on eBay. Look, I've been married six times. I know women. Take her to this place in the country. Make her feel special. 
She'll melt like butter. <laughs> hey, remember Butter Picaro? Nothing melted in her mouth, huh? Cook, I'm sorry. Let me make it right and take you away for the weekend. Why don't you take one of your bimbos? Maybe Butter Picaro's available. Oh, Butter was always available. Jimmy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, shut up, Cheech. Look, I just... I don't know how you idiots forgot that... Da! Da! Means hornet's nest surrounded by poison ivy! What? I said it's a loony for number one and a deuce for a deuce. Or five bucks for both. Yo, Carmine, give me a sec. I gotta go make fun of my brother. Hmm. <laughs> Only you can come to summer camp and catch the leprosy. Gina, what's that boy's name? What are you, a cop? It's Carmine. <gasps> I think that's Carmine Gambini. As in his father was Dawn Gambini? As in dad killed him, Gambini, and that's why we're in witness protection, Gambini? You been drinking from the rusty fountain? Cause that's two bucks. I'm telling you, that's him. We were at his christening. I christened thee, Carmine. <clears throat> Come on, just cause he's from New York and his pop worked in sanitation and fell from the 19th floor window. Oh my God, how did I not see this? You have to stay away from him. What if you let it slip that Pop killed his father? I don't let things slip. What am I, a cheech? You can't go near Carmine, okay? Stay away from him, he's trouble. Carmine equals trouble. Petey, if you're on your period, be careful. There's bears out here. Dinner at five, dress code in effect. Enjoy your stay. Hear that? A dress code. Only the best for my cookie. Don't pin your hopes on any undress code when we get upstairs. Uh. You were informed of the dress code, were you not, sir? Of course I was. What, are you blind? You believe this prick? I guess he just knows a sleaze bag when he sees one, Jimmy. Can we stop? Let's not mess this up by being mad about the past. Let's just enjoy tonight. What do you say, baby? Amazed at the size of your freaking balls. Thank you. To bring me to a swingers party. I had no idea, I swear. Come on, we're getting out of here. Oh, no, we're not. You want to swing? You got it. I'm going to powder my nose. Try not to get anyone pregnant. And order me the tube steak. <clears throat> Cheech residents. You humongous idiot. Hey, Jimmy, how's the weekend? How the hell did you find this pervert parade? Add in a magazine, where else? What did the ad say? Uh, couples only, like you two. What else? Loving environment? Again, tailor-made for you crazy kids. Okay, did you read the top of the ad? Uh, yeah. Midsummer bang palooza So you two all made up? Hello? The other counselors are gonna feel pretty stupid at their makeout party when they realize they forgot dish duty. <sighs> I'm so lonely. <gasps> oh, hey, Camper. I heard you talking about me to Gina. Oh. oh. Wanna hear a joke? Knock, knock. Who, who's there? Orange. Orange who? Aren't you lucky this ain't a bag full of hammers? Ow! No, I'm sorry! I'm sorry about your dad! What about my dad? You know how my dad killed your dad? That's why you're beating me, right? No, I'm beating you because you told your sister not to hang out with me. So, this isn't about your father? Well, it is now. Some 
snacks for the makeout party. <gasps> Ew, is that pee? Some of it is. Ahem. <clears throat> Your lack of nudity is making the other patrons uncomfortable. Well, we wouldn't want that, would we? I can be just as adventurous as your little New York skanks. I'm going to the S&M Grotto to spank me an accountant. That's it. I'm calling McCool. Special Agent Straight McCool. McCool? <gasps> Please, tell me you're here to watch us. <laughs> Only if that's what you're into. Oh, God, don't come over. Well, I was nervous my first time here as well. You can always use the safe word, kumquat. Last year it was harder, which we really should have thought through. Isn't this stuff illegal? Cause it ought to be. Not at all. Swinging is perfectly legal, consensual, and quite frankly, beautiful. Beautiful? There's a skid mark on this chair. Don't panic, Jimmy. You're free to walk out at any time. Though I recommend staying for Randy Mouthfeel, the erotic hypnotist. Oh, the things he makes people do. There's Cookie. I'll go say hello. Let me get this straight. You thought taking me to the Royal Pork Hotel would make up for that photographic walk down Mamory Lane? There's nothing to make up for. That was the old life. Well, the old life was a two-time in scumbag. You know, I never heard you complain about it when you were sitting pretty in Brooklyn with a big house, fancy cars, and piles of money. How dare you? Well, looky here. You folks done blew yourself a foursome. There's a whole lot of that going around tonight. Hop on in. We'll run you to the gas station. So you can introduce us to Cousin Leatherface? Forget it. We'll just stroll back to the hotel for some kinky karaoke. <laughs> Ow! Prick my finger! You told him?! What is with the men in this family?! You're all a bunch of natural-born stool pigeons. He beat it out of me. Then he got angry. Quiet angry. The most dangerous angry of all. You think they forgot? Then BAM! It's sunny at the toll booth. What's nice weather at a toll booth got to do with anger? You never saw The Godfather, did you? No! It's one of the many things I'll never get to do after Carmine rats us out to the mob. I'm too young to die. I'll never know true love or learn advanced Klingon. You know there's a connection there. Leave this to me. We'll have an old-fashioned sit-down. Oh, thank God. That's for squealing. Ooh. And that's for never seeing the Godfather. Hey, this ain't no gas station. Ah. Now it is. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Well, chubby man and red lady, these here are my brother, cousin, father, sons. So, it's a deliverance reunion. Cookie, in these situations, scatterguns trump wisecracks. Let me handle this. What do you want? Cash? Credit cards? Our skin to make a suit? We're from a tight-knit community in the black prairies of northern Saskatchewan. And y'all mm. got something we need. You ain't getting nothing from me, Hills Have Eyes. Yeah! You stay away from my wife! I'll go bang a whore. I'm still mad at you. Oh, shucks, ma'am. I don't know what you're thinking, but we don't want nothing from you. We want your brother. He's my husband. Well, excuse us, Mrs. Highfalutin. Look at me! My husband ain't my brother. I ain't got no blood disorder. My head's a regular shape. whoop a dee doo Shut up, will ya? Uh, boys, just show them we mean business. Ow! Easy, Mick. You're too excited. Well, feller, you can either help us out, or you can eat a buckshot salad. I never thought I'd say these words to a gang of horny hillbillies, but please be gentle. Hang 
on. You idiots drove all the way from the Black Prairies to get it on with this sack of crap? Hey, what? No, ma'am. You see, as of late, we noticed something real wrong with our youngins. We reckon there's been too many cousins and siblings and whatnot making babies. <laughs> and bottom line is, our chitlins ain't right. Yikes! Stands to reason we need a new swimmer in the old gene pool. I don't think you hoot nannies understand how this works. I can't birth no babies. We know. We ain't stupid. Ours is a matriarchal society, and the women folk demand to be babyfied forthwith. Now, the standards of beauty in the Black Prairies might not be what y'all are used to. I love it. After years of hot stripper body bimbos, you're gonna have to bump uglies with a bunch of barnyard fuglies. Ha! <whistles> All right, ladies, he's ready. Come on in. Close your f***ing mouth, Jimmy. Having a sit down in a boat was a good idea, because you're not allowed to stand. Safety first. So, you know who we are. And you know what I gotta do. And you know what I gotta do about what you gotta do. And you know what I gotta do about what you gotta do about what I gotta... Oh, Jesus, sit downs are boring. What a fight? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I better intervene and call an adult. He's more chicken than I am. Three full whistles and two semis means stop fighting. Come on, you guys. I know they ain't pretty. Just close your eyes and think of something sexy, like a sibling or barnyard animal. It'll all be over before you can say webbed feet. Find yourself another stud, Toothless. Uh, Jimmy? You're gonna get us both killed. I'm giving you permission. For the record, ma'am, we'll only hurt him. You will integrate into our community. Come on, you've done it a thousand times with Cheech and your crew. Wait, you know what I mean. Sorry, ain't happening. Oh, I see. Big stomach Jimmy's got to prove a point. You're going to feel real superior when they turn your skeleton into a side table. <sighs> now, now, ladies, be patient. We've been outmaneuvered in this round of the chess game of reproduction. So, you going to let us go? No, ma'am. We're going to have to resort to science. Bring in the doodad! <laughs> 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 Do that don't sound good. Oh, it don't feel good neither. <laughs> uh, you're gonna... Ow! <laughs> Stop it, you two! You can't settle an old mafia vendetta with violence! Ow! I like you, but I can't trust you not to rat us out. Wait, do you like like me? Shut up! Why would I rat you out? I hate the mob. Yeah, right. And I'm gonna be prom queen. I mean it. When your pop killed my old man, the mob left us high and dry. <laughs> That's the mob for ya. <laughs> Wait a minute, what am I doing? He's six years old. I can totally take him. Gina, tag out. Ouch. Oof, bad idea, terrible idea. Gina, tag me out. Look, the mob screwed me. I'd never help those jerks. But but I gotta avenge my old man. I know, but you're not touching my old man. He's a kafal, but he's all right. Fine, but somebody's gotta die. Not Petey. Too easy. That would just make me sad. How about my uncle? Technically, he's the reason for all of this. You don't got a problem with me coming after... Cheech? Nah. 
But I'm not gonna hand them to you on a platter. You gotta earn it. Of course, there's no free lunch. If you can find out where the feds put us, be my guest. But is it worth all that trouble? It is if I get to see you again. Hey, keep it down. We got people trying to make out in here. Okay, I'm just gonna come right out and ask, what the hell is making out exactly? Don't look at me. I don't know what those fucking animals do in there. This here's the suck nozzle. The claw's painful, but essential. Where the hell'd you get that thing anyway? eBay. I'm also been on a nice wedding dress from Jimmy Eats Ball 69. Jimmy, don't put yourself through this. Just nail those broads, will ya? Do it for me! No, Cook! I never cheated on you, and I ain't about to start now. If it means my brazool gets chewed up by that thing, so be it. For Christ's sake, cut the act! It's no act! All the broads back home are for show. Part of my job is capo. I take them to dinner and drop them off after. No messing. Really? Since the day we met, Cook, it's only been you. Oh, Jimmy. All right, let's do this. What? I got a better idea. Step right in, ladies, and don't forget to sign up for Kinky Karaoke. Sorry, gentlemen, the swinging community has a strict no unaccompanied men policy. Oh, I wanted to see the sex restaurant. For Canada, a country so freaky, our national animal is the beaver. We still got a room here. Want to hit the sheets? <laughs> nah, let's steal a car and go home. I hate the fucking country. La 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 la